I always tell my customers, with a big job like this, if I don't deliver to your expectations, then I will not charge you. So this job took me two days, and if I don't deliver what the customer expects, then I'm not gonna get paid a dime on it. Watch the entire process and see if we're successful. Lots of smile, 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 even up into the cab corner and the door. Um, man, this is gonna be a job. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Uh, it's gonna take me a couple days put, of putting in work, um, but I think we're gonna get this thing moving. Like, get the bulk of it out um, today, or at least we're gonna try with some uh, tension and some glue pulling. So uh, I don't I don't know how this thing's gonna turn out, um, but I'm gonna show you one way or the other. Uh, if I take an L, or if I get the dub. So. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. Okay, first thing I'm doing is using 91% isopropyl alcohol out of the hat. I'm cleaning that, cleaning that panel. I'm not really worried about getting the paint transfer off at this point. All right, so now I am gluing ratchet straps to the panel to create tension. And so you notice right here, I'm not gluing it all the way at the end of the panel. I wanna isolate and focus the tension in that one spot so it's not spread out throughout the whole panel just at this point. So I'll, I actually have another pickup truck um, backed up so that I can ratchet to that. That's the rear strap is to another pickup truck. And now I'm putting, I'm just really making sure it's got plenty of glue in there to hold that on. Now this is the front strap, it's strapped into the op the front door is open and then a really solid uh, hinge bracket in there is what I got it hooked to. You can see how tight it is. I mean, it's basically as tight as I can get it. And, uh, and that glue is holding it on there. All right, alcohol cleaning that area. Now this is some, this is some cold glue right here. There's so much tension on it that the cold glue, you can see it moving a little bit. It really is. That cold glue did take a bulk of that depth out of that because of that tension. There, there's no way I could have done that with that cold glue. So um, just Google cold glue, PDR glue. You can find it. Galexo is a company that sells it. You can get it at any of the PDR tool websites like Anson, uh, A1 tool which is pdrtool.com or dickcrafttools.com i think they all sell it all right there's a big area of smile down at the bottom that i'm releasing again that tension is helping pull the dent out as i'm knocking down those big areas of buckled up metal from that from that damage i'm still working that smile with that hammer all right, now I'm moving my strap to the back so that I can work on that area right there. I was happy with my with the with the strap on the front, so now we're going to some actual uh, hot glue glue pulling. This is going to be much stronger than that cold glue, and you could put a smaller uh, tab with a smaller surface area. So you can see I'm working on that body line right there. So you, I'm pulling that body line up making sure that the uh, panel is more stable, it's not flopping around. And then, um, and then I'm gonna go back to working on that smile because the, the smile, that buckled up, bulged up area up, up top is really what- All right, y'all, what's day two on this work. ram. I'm gonna get this buffed. I'm gonna take this piece off so I can have access from the top to push on it. Um, got a lot of work to do. Got a long way to go on this thing. So let's get started. All right. Woo. This is what I use to uh, take off these bed caps on Dodge Rams where the clips are just really, uh, they break really easy. So this is what I use and watch me do it. Yeah, these Dodge bedside caps are famously difficult to remove. Uh, I mean, I've heard a lot of guys just rip them off uh, and then Going. replace them. So all it is is a, is a wedge. Ooh pops up and then go behind it and go boom. So all that is is a window wedge and then that's a dent craft uh, hand tool. And 
needle those pliers. That's everything I need to get that bed side cap off. And I mean, I do so many of those for the rental car companies that I'm uh, pretty fast at it, but I mean, it used to take me a long time to do it. All right, now we're back to the ratchet straps, okay? We're getting those things on there. I'm gluing it in. Even after that glue is dried, I'm putting tons of glue in there. You would be amazed at the amount of pressure that those that the, the glue will hold on there just as long as it's pulling laterally. You know, I'm not pulling it straight perpendicular to the panel. I'm pulling laterally with the panel. So, man, uh, that glue can hold a ton, a ton of force on there laterally like that. So, I'm telling you, if I didn't have those straps on there, this probably would have taken me twice the amount of time to do it. So, the first day, I probably had an hour on it. The second day, I think I put in about what? three hours. So I think I got about four hours on this repair in total. So you see me climbing up top to work it from that angle. From this angle, I'm working the, I'm working that smile. The, when I say smile, I'm talking about that it's, it's bulged up at the top because of the because of the damage. Usually, to a body line, uh, there develops a lot of smile above and below that body line. Okay, I mean, you can see I'm using a longer hammer. So this longer hammer helps you get further back so that you can see smaller imperfections. Because whenever you're, whenever you're closer, the angle is greater. The further back, you can get lower angle and see uh, the more minor imperfections to be able to fix those. So the further back you go, you gotta have a longer tool. See, so I'm doing the same thing here with pushing from behind. I mean, I got it hooked up to a guardrail now. And you can see me putting stuff on top of that thing just in case it lets go. I don't want that thing just flying back and taking my head off. So I'm putting things over the top of it uh, to dampen it if it if it were to let go and come and come off of that thing. Um, I don't think I mentioned it yet. I think that's a Dentcraft tail bar with a green handle. I'm not exactly sure about what it's called, but you go to uh, dentcrafttools.com for that. That's an Elimident light is what I'm using. You can go to uh, Elimident's website or all the major tool companies carry that light. It's a pretty industry standard light. And at this point, to me, it's still, it's still the best. Um, all right, I'm putting it back on. Look, I'm putting, that, I'm putting that bed cap back on. The clips are there. So I'm not, you know, that thing is, that thing is on there properly. So I'm moving on to the door. All right. This nice. is much easier repair, much quicker. So this is the after on that bedside. All right. It is not perfect, but for the, for a rental car company, that is plenty perfect. That's what it looks like, man. I hope you guys liked the video, like, and subscribe, do all that stuff. See you next time.